I was recently introduced to what has become a game changer for my shop. And from what I understand, this is not a new item, but it's one that's been largely overlooked, including myself. I'm not even really sure what to call it. It's a battery adapter or some kind of alternate brand battery shim. Hi, I'm DIY Mark and welcome to my shop. These little adapters allow you to use cordless power tools with an entirely different manufacturer's battery. It's a simple idea that breaks down the barriers that power tool manufacturers created with proprietary battery platforms. It's one of those ideas that you'll say, why didn't I come up with this? It really opens things up. For example, I got a chance to try this new rigid flashlight. I was super impressed. It was a big step up from my old favorite, the DeWalt version. It was brighter, the head articulates in more directions, and unlike the DeWalt, it stays in position. Here was a tool that was a positive step in the right direction, but in the past, I would have passed it over. I don't have any other rigid tools, and I was not about to add to my already too big group of batteries and chargers. So I bought the Makita to Rigid Adapter from Amazon and went ahead with the purchase of the new Rigid Flashlight, which is now my favorite flashlight. The adapter adds a bit more height to the battery, about an inch. So if you're going to use a drill or a driver, it does make the tool a bit bigger. I chose Makita to Rigid since most of my tools are Makita and I have mostly Makita batteries. But after that first purchase, I went back and got another. Now I can use my Milwaukee tools with a Makita battery too. It looks like several Chinese manufacturers have joined into this battery adapter game. You can get an adapter for quite a few tool manufacturers. At least the big players like Milwaukee, DeWalt, Makita, Rigid, and a few others. But that also means that some adapters are still missing from the list like FezTool, Metabo, and Hilti. I also wasn't able to find any adapters for Harbor Freight tools, but stay tuned because this pool of supported tools and batteries seems to be growing. It also looks like these adapter makers are competing with each other and driving down the price. That first rigid tool adapter I bought six months ago for 28 bucks can now be found for less than 20 bucks. I'm really not too worried about quality compromises. These adapters are relatively simple, just a block of plastic with some embedded connectors. There's not really too much to go wrong here. That said, I'm not recommending one brand over another. Keep in mind the tool and the battery must be the same voltage. I'm not really aware of any solution that would allow you to take an 18 volt battery and put it on a 12 volt tool. And for the DeWalt 20 volt max owners, that's really just a marketing ploy. 20 volts is just the same as an 18 volt system. So you can use your 20 volt batteries on 18 volt tools and vice versa. One large tool manufacturer that I pretty much ignored was Ryobi. They have an amazing number of cordless power tools and many are very unique. Often their tools are very reasonably priced. Fortunately, there are a good number of Ryobi to other adapters available. Now, if there's a unique Ryobi tool that catches my eye, it just might end up in my shop after all, powered by another manufacturer's battery. I'm probably a bit late to this whole adapter game, but maybe I enlighten someone else out there in YouTube land about this quiet revolution. And for a tool nut like me, it totally changes the landscape. And it busts that proprietary battery ecosystem idea apart. By the way, I am no way sponsored or received any benefits from Amazon or any of the adapters that I mentioned in this video. I would really appreciate it though if you could hit that thumbs up button for this video. I'd also like to hear in the comments section if you've discovered some sort of hack like these adapters so that we can all learn from it. So thanks for watching and I hope to catch you again soon.